Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Mila and I live with a type of diabetes called latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. It's a slow progressing form of type one. My channel here, The Hangry Woman, is all about living your best life with diabetes. And I have an actually extra special announcement today that I am just, Ah, I'm so happy and so thrilled that I actually get to talk about this and what it means for me, what it means for you, and additional ways I can help you live your best life with diabetes. Before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in diabetes living content. Anything from recipe to tips and tricks to different kinds of medications that I take and different things that I do, you can find it all here on this channel. Channel. But I will not delay any further. Let's get to this announcement because it is awesome. So in addition to being a recipe writer and recipe developer for people with diabetes, I can also add to my resume that I am an integrative nutrition health coach. I am so excited about this. And the reason that you haven't seen me around here for the past maybe four or five months or so is that I really had to put aside everything that I was doing content wise because I wanted to focus in on studying for this, studying for the exams and getting my integrative nutrition health coaching certification. And you're probably wondering like what the heck is a diabetes nutrition coach? What is an integrative nutrition coach? And the simple answer to that is that I don't replace any of your health team. So I don't replace your doctor. I don't replace your dietitian. I don't don't replace anyone who is currently on your health team. But what I am is a supplement and a source of accountability, as well as a person who can help you with goal setting, reaching your goals and staying accountable to those goals. I can share recipes with you. I can share resources. I can share evidence-based research. I can share lots of things with you to help you on your journey and also keep you accountable in between those doctor's appointments because our doctors are amazing but I think that all of us as patients know that we don't get to spend nearly enough time with them. And that's because they're busy. That's because they have heavy caseloads. That's because they are filling out our prior authorizations. They are sending off our prescriptions. They are fighting insurance for us at times. And so they don't have a lot of time to actually spend with us in office. They can help us you know, figure out what we need to troubleshoot for the goals that we're looking for in our health. And then they can prescribe what needs to to be prescribed or give us a little bit of lifestyle advice and send us on our way to a specialist or send us on our way with a prescription. Where I come in is I'm a person who helps in that intermediary period. So you get this prescription, you get this plan, you're told to come back in a few months to get your labs checked. What do you do in the meantime? And so that's where I work with you. We know that diabetes is individual. We know that diabetes is not one size fits all and the management is not one size fits all. What works for you probably might not work for me. What works for me might not work for you. And that's why I get so crazy about internet comments because people don't know you. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know what you're doing. They don't know how hard you've tried. They probably don't know how difficult it is to live with diabetes. And so where I come in as an integrative health nutrition coach is that I can work with you between those doctor's appointments to make sure that you're staying on track, that you're meeting your goals, and that we troubleshoot any hurdles that you are finding in your diabetes management. I am definitely biased, but I will say that having a health coach is super helpful between those appointments, helpful for accountability. It's helpful for questions that you may need answered between appointments. It's helpful to have someone on your side. It's helpful to have someone who is tracking goals with you and helping you see how far you've come. I think all of those things are really helpful in diabetes management and it's really nice to have someone help you along the way. 
So if you're interested in health coaching, go ahead and click the link in my description box. You can either sign up for my mailing list, which sends resources directly to your email, or you can answer a few questions, get on the schedule to book with me. We can talk about what health coaching is, what you're hoping and looking for, and see if I am someone who can help you with your diabetes management. So answering a few questions that I've gotten about this from friends and family and maybe questions that you have about it too. So I was asked why health coaching and I decided to get into health coaching because I was kind of already doing it just in like a really unofficial capacity. People would ask me questions about diabetes management all the time. People would come to my Instagram, to my blog with questions, email me questions. And I just really felt like I was in the space where I was answering these things all the time, but they were one-offs. Like they were things that could get people through the next day, but it really had no long-term or what I would consider long-term implications on their lifestyle. It was kind of just like, Hey, I have this question I'm going to ask you because you seem knowledgeable. So I was already kind of doing it. And then I realized that I wanted to dive deeper. I wanted to learn more and I wanted to be able to do more. And and I wanted to be able to really know that I could understand health in a holistic way. And I think a lot of times people think that health is just your weight. It's your size. It's what you eat. It's how much you move. But health goes so far beyond the scope of those things. It's how much sleep are you getting? How much water are you drinking a day? Are you happy? Are you anxious? Are, like, how are you feeling? What impact do those feelings and emotions and your self-care have on your life as well as the basics like diet and exercise. So I wanted to be able to really bring that holistic picture to living life with diabetes. And so as I was going through my program and I was learning, I was kind of faced with this reality that I live a pretty holistically healthy lifestyle. And troll comments <laughs> will probably say no you don't like and that's besides the point but it made me realize that i i love looking at health in this holistic way i don't like just looking at it as diet and exercise and you're done and you have to be miserable when you exercise i look at it as mindfulness i look at it as sleep i look at it as de-stressing i look at it as enjoyment in life like we are not made to sit behind desks for eight hours a day <laughs> and not have sunshine and not be able to go outside and just walk and enjoy the air. Have a mindful moment. Like, we deserve more than that. And why I wanted to go through a program to become a health coach was because I want to help people with diabetes look at their lives holistically, not just what you eat and how you move, but all of the other components that really facilitate the enjoyment that you feel in life. I also wanted to pursue health coaching because I really thought about how there had been times, and it's not the case now, I found a lovely care team and they are amazing and so helpful, but there was a time where I didn't have that help. I didn't have somebody on the in-between to help me stay accountable, and I didn't know who to ask to do that, and I didn't know people with diabetes, so I didn't feel comfortable asking people to hold me accountable when they didn't even know what it was like to live with diabetes. And so becoming a health coach really put me on that path to be able to directly help people with diabetes on the in-between. So like I said before, I'm not a replacement for your doctor or your dietitian or any of your care team, but I am a person who can help you in the middle. I can help you goal set. I can help you stay accountable. I can help give you tips, tools, and resources. I can give you evidence-based studies about diabetes that I've interpreted for you so that you don't have to go and read a whole study. I am really like your diabetes person 
personal assistant. And I think that it's so important to have someone like that because it's important to have someone who is helping you track your goals, but also at the same time, someone who is really working for you. I think the other thing that I can say is I'm doing this alongside you. So diabetes, of course, and diabetes management is not cookie cutter. It's not one size fits all. You can't copy paste, replicate the same thing for two different people who are living with diabetes because chances are your diabetes is not my diabetes. However, we are both in the same boat. And so I am doing this alongside of you. I still have the same needs to keep my A1C level. I still have the same needs to make sure that my blood sugars are in range. I still have the needs to eat good nutritious food that's going to fuel my body. I still have the need to do all of those things to take my insulin on time, to do everything that I can possibly do to maintain and manage my health. And I'm doing that alongside you. I understand what you're going through. I understand how hard it can be sometimes. And I'm there to be encouragement for you and also take away some of those roadblocks and some of those stressors that are making diabetes management difficult and giving you the tools that you need to manage diabetes in a way that works for you. So that's all I'm going to say in this vlog. I want to know what you think. I'm scared to know what you think, but I am excited about putting it out there. I just feel like I am taking the right pathway and doing the right thing. And this is something that I feel like is going to be more helpful than even like the videos I create and the recipes that I do, you know, those won't stop and those will continue to be free resources for you. But I also wanted to offer the ability for one-to-one -one coaching, for group coaching, if enough people are interested in doing a group cohort, for being able to just give you the tools and resources that can help you live a better life with diabetes, take those stressors away, and just make it easier on you. Because diabetes is difficult, and it can suck the joy out of life, but it does not have to. That's the thing, is it doesn't have to. And sometimes you just need somebody who gets it and someone who can help you get the tools that you need so that you can be resourceful on your own. Another reason that I wanted to go into diabetes coaching is because I don't often see people who look like me. I am a black woman living in a larger body, which it's kind of insane to me. I wear a size 16, <laughs> which I think is pretty average. I think it's the size of the average American woman. And I, the comments that I get are just like horrendous, but anywho, you know, I don't see people in larger bodies. I don't see people who are living with this chronic illness. I don't see people who look like me and I wanted to see people who look like me. And even when I was like looking through my health coaching program, everyone was thin. Everyone was, um, like not a minority and and I think minority communities have specialized needs and specialized access to resources and specialized hurdles that not everybody else has and it's sad that it's that way it's horrible that it's that way but it is the truth like we it's not something that we can say doesn't happen like it does. That's why there are health inequities. That's why when we look at the social determinants of health, another link in the description box, we see that people who are of color are typically more affected and worse off in the healthcare system at times. And that is because of lack of resources, lack of help, and lack of people who look like us and who understand. So that's something that I wanted. I wanted to be someone who understands and who just gets it from a direct perspective and who can identify with you because your health coach needs to be someone who understands you. That is like of the utmost importance. And I want to be sure that you feel that 
I am empathetic, that you feel like I get you, that you feel like I want you to succeed because I do. I want people like me to succeed. I want people who live in larger bodies, people who are, you know, living with diabetes. I want us to feel like we can be out in the world and not be ashamed because people in larger bodies, newsflash, can be healthy people. I like ran six miles the other day granted they were the slowest six miles but like I did it you know like I want people to feel like they don't have to stop and they don't have to be held back by their body size or their body type and that they can live a happy healthy life with diabetes even in a larger body it's possible so visit the link in the description box if you are excited if you are interested leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you have any questions you can put them down below um and yeah <laughs> that's it i guess for this vlog so that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves i'll see you next time bye